Okay, students. Today we will discuss the creation of cube in SSAS. As we said that SQL Server Analysis Services is used for creation of the cube. What is the cube, and where we need the cube? Cube are needed in OLAP. OLAP is a sort of online analytical processing systems. Online analytical processing system. As OLAP is used to perform the analysis, and in SSIS we may be able to perform the different type of analysis. Analysis. Whenever we are having the OLAP, user have to perform the analysis. Just read the data, take the data from the database, and perform the analysis. If we check in database, we are having the different engines are available. For OLAP, we are having the separate engine, having the different databases. Like here, we are having the database that is the sales DP containing the different table, right? And the different type of the databases are there. Similarly, in OLAP, we are having its own databases are there. For OLAP, we are having the structure of if we check it over here, analysis services structure is here cube. If we connect it with the OLAP, connect it, we will be connected this one. It have its own databases, right? So whenever we have a OLAP, we have to use in OLAP we have to perform the different type of analysis and we have to create the cube. How we can create the cube? As in last two video, we discuss how to create the star schema. In star schema, we are having the dimension table and the fact tables. So those star schema are needed to needed to create the cube in OLAP. How we can create, or how we may be able to start working in OLAP? So initially, very first step that we must have analysis services in our system. How to check that analysis services is available or not? So first of all, we have must have to open the Visual Studio and check in the tool that extension and updates if we don't have ssas sql server analysis services then we have to install it we have to download it from the tool and extension then here we have to check sql server analysis services as i have sql server analysis services project over here if you don't have then here it will display the option of the download. Click it over our download, close this one, option of Visual Studio, and then install it. Then it will display the option. As I already have installed, that's why it displays the disable and uninstall. Now, how we can create the new? We I have currently one package that is used for the population of the data into the SSDT that we discussed in last video. Now I have to open the new project or add the new project over here related to the SSAS. So right click over here on the solution explorer. We are having option of the add and the new project. We have to add the new project. This one project is related to the analysis services. In analysis services, we are having the two options are there. One is multidimensional, second one is the tabular. Multidimensional that is related to creation of the cube that containing the cube structure having the different dimension table and fact table to create the cube while tabular that is a table that containing the only two dimension row and columns and that is a flat table so initially we will create the project related to the multi-dimensional and cube we see that's sales cube db our cube name is sales cube db click it over here on okay analysis multidimensional data mining analysis okay now it add the package over here whenever we add create the new project related to ssas sql server analysis services it open it over here in solution explorer it add sales cube db this one ssas project contains the different component those components are data source component, data source view, cube, dimension, mining structure, role, assemblies, and miscellaneous. All of these operations can be performed from top to bottom. Initially, very first step, that is data source. We have to connect with the data source. How we may be able to connect with the data source? So we have to right click on the data source 
and then new data source we must have to follow very first step is a data source so connect with a data source so whenever we have to connect with the data source click next we have to create a new connections i am not taking any existing connections so click it over here new whenever we have to connect it we must have to take the connection of this one what is the connection name for analysis services so connection name is here that server name just copy it control c and i have to use that connection name over here as a server name control v for analysis services i have to use the this one server names now enter a database names now my database names at the source that is a so sales db now click it over at test connection if connection is succeeded okay succeeded done click it over here okay and click it over here on next now we must have to enter use a specified vendor username and password it is very necessary that we must have to assign we can't blank it right so for that one username on my system that is bilal window username window authentication is here bilal and i am using the password if we miss it so it will display the error message at the time of cube creation so at the time of the data source we must have to mention it every are the username and password click next now database name is here sales db i am using it over here data source we can use any names for this ones sales db data source is our data source name now when i add it over here it display it over here the extension of the data source is dot ds similarly next one we are having the data source view right click it over here click on the new data source view next step is the data source view in data source view we have to mention the different tables those table can be dimension table as well as the fact table so list of the table we have to add it over here welcome to data source view data source view containing the list of the tables those table are the fact table as well as dimension table so this one is a uh, our relational database source click next we already have a data source so data source is already mentioned so now we have to select the tables always select those table that we created never select the system generated table so we have to select the customer dimension table that dimension table then we have a product dimension table and lastly we having internet sales table and here we are having sys diagrams or if we have any other system generated if i let me check it over here show system objects so we will have different system objects so we don't need to mention the other system objects right so just take all of those table that we have click next and click all of these its name is sales db i can change we say that uh, data view db that db click finish before moving to the next step always check that you have a data in the source or not if we don't have then let we have sales db let me check over here internet sales is a fact table and all the others are the dimension tables right click and select the records if we have a data in this one that will work properly now yes we have a data let if we have a data in the fact table definitely we will have a data at the dimension table now first step is a data source in data source we connect with the data base where we have to take the data then we have source data view and source data view we add the different type of the tables those table can be dimension table as well as fact table remember that one we are not selecting the system database object now here extension of the source data view is dot dsv while extension of the data source is dot ds next step we have to create the cube so how we may be able to create the cube for that one let i am closing it over here uh, the previous uh, already created packages as we don't need now next step is create the cube so right click and new cube 
every step for data source data source view or the cube right click and new source new source view or new cube click everywhere new now we are using the existing table yes we can create the empty cube but we are creating the existing table click next now very first step we have to select the measure group table measure group table can are related to the fact table so we are having the fact table is here internet sale is a fact table that contain the different measures right all of those numeric all the numeric values as i already told you people that numeric values are stored in the fact table while textual values all of those values that we may not be able to calculate we may not be able to perform the calculation are stored in the dimension table so measure group table is a fact table and we have internet sale is a fact table in our star schema so select this one click next now we have all we have to select the measures in the measure measure group table so in this one fact table we are having the different numeric values are there where simple calculation is possible those attributes are here order quantity sale amount unit price discount amount internet sale count right if we check in our schema structure are in our schema diagrams here we can see that internet internet sale table that is a measure group table that containing the internet sale key that is a primary key so that is not a measure customer dw key that is a foreign key product key that is a foreign key date key that is a foreign key and all the others are measures like we have a order quantity we have sale amount unit price and discount amount so we have to select all of these attribute over here order quantity sale amount unit price discount amount and internet sale count click next now first we select the measure group table now we are having the dimension table or first we select fact table next we have to select the different dimension table so we have three different dimension table are there product dimension customer dimension in that dimension table click next and we can change the name of this one of the cube or we can make it same let i am changing it over here db cube click finish we create one cube here if we check it displays the structure of the cube and this cube structure So it displays the star schema structure over here. Fact table is at the middle, while dimension table are around the fact table. In that formation is or that arrangement is known as star schema. So fact table is here internet sale, while dimension table are directly connected with the fact tables. In the structure, we can see that in sale cube we have a different type of the measure group table that contain internet sale that containing the different type of the measures. order quantity sale amount unit price discount amount and internet sale and different dimension tables are there we are having the product customers and date what are the different attribute initially it take only primary key of these attribute next one in customer it take customer dw key for the product it take the product key for date it take the date key we can add the other attribute here in this structure we are having the dimension usage how we may be able to go for the dimension usage we can do it okay next step let me first add the different attribute that are related to these dimension table let first one we are having the product dimension table double click on the dimension so first we take it over here customer we data source then we select the data source view then cube then we are having the dimensions are there click it over here on product dimension double click over here now it display it over here structure related to the dimensions here we are having the hierarchy related to the dimensions so what are the attribute that we need it we see that we need the product name we need the color just drag and drop select it over here we already have a color we have we have to select the size drag and drop we have sub category names and category names 
so in this way we may be able to select the different type of the we can add the list of the attribute over here initially at the time of creation of the cube it take just primary key of the dimension table now second one is a customer dimension table double click it over here i am selecting only few attribute from the customer dimension table first is a full name next one i am taking it over here gender that as we have to perform the analysis so i am taking few attribute i am taking education next one we are having the occupations next one we have city select it with respect to city we may be able to perform analysis then we have the state province we having country region and age with the age group like middle age older or younger group we may be able to perform the analysis next one is the dead dimension table for this one dead dimension table we i am taking it over here full date month number drag it properly and drop it calendar quarter although here we are having the hierarchies is there we can add the hierarchies over here but at this stage i am not creating any hierarchies over here we can create or we can add the things in hierarchies so we will do it later on okay now here we are having the three different dimensions are there in all of those dimension we add the attribute now click it over here on the cube in cube we are having the different type of the list of the attributes are there that will be i will now those attribute are shown over here for the customer we are having the age city country region customer dw key education full name gender then other attributes for the products it will display the list of the attribute that we added over here if any attribute is missing we can add it later on next we have customer for customer attributes are available for the last one we have a date for the date we have a list of attribute those attribute are the calendar quarter year then date key and others now when this process is done we are here at the cube at the cube we are having the different component that is a cube structure in cube structure we can see that we are having the major group table as well as dimension table other options are there dimension usage calculation kpis actions we will discuss these thing later on so next step is we have to deploy this cube so click it over here on the process so in cube structure we are having option of the process click on the process it will ask the server contain appear to be out of date click it over here yes maybe actually the data all is not available so if data is not available then that it may be possible that it will not work so here it say that deploy the deployment complete successfully green color displays that things are working properly there is no error now after that one when this dialog box is open we have to execute it to process that one if there is everything is working perfectly or not click on run button now it is processing the different dimension table as we have the three different dimension table customer dead in product it processing dimension table it check the attribute of the dimension table so processing of the dimension table customer date and product is completed similarly the processing of the fact table or major group table that is a internet sales that is also completed mean process completed successfully if there is any error it displays the error over here so everything is working properly that is fine so click it over here on close and close now we may be able to perform the analysis how we may be able to perform the analysis we are having here option of the browse click on browse button when we click on the browse button it will display the complete grid so on the left hand side we are having the in cube structures we are having the list of the attribute that are related to the measures in the major group table so let we have a, we are selecting few attributes like order quantity drag it and drop it in this one drag then we have sale amount drop it unit price drag and drop it click it over there 
click to execute the query. Now it displays a value over here. Order quantity is this one sale amount is and unit amount is. It performs the calculation over here. If we want to perform these calculations with respect to the different aspect, like if we want to perform these calculation, let we are having order is here. With respect to the order, we want to perform the calculation. So click over here on this plus. Okay, so here we have like calendar years. We want to perform this calculation with respect to the year. So execute it. It said that we are having the different years: 2010, 2011, 12, 13, and 14. Values are there. Order quantity value with respect to the year. Different year is calculated. Sale amount and unit price values are calculated. If we want to calculate any other values, like we want to calculate here any other dimension. Like we have a customer dimension. In customer dimension, we are having the option of the gender. So, with respect to the gender, in the next option is here, calendar year. And with after the calendar year, we are having the genders are available. So, with respect to the genders, we have to perform two genders are there, male and female. So, we say that calendar year 2010, female order quantity is six, sale amount is this one, a unit price 2010, male is there, order quantity is eight. Then we have sale amount. As well as unit price, same for the next all the other year. Same we may be able to perform with respect to the education, qualification, or other entity. The time again applying it over here with respect to the occupations or state province. In the state province, so in this way we may be able to perform the different type of analysis. So with respect to the different state province. Gender, calendar year, gender, state province, all the different measurements are available over here. We can use that if with respect to other products like we have the product colors with respect to product colors or with respect to the category names. If we want to do it, so drag it over here, execute it. So analysis will be displayed over here. If anyone we want to remove it, like we don't need it, like uh, sale province. Remove it, execute it. Analysis will be performed with respect to the year, gender, categories, and this one. That we don't need it. The gender, remove it, execute. Now it displays the different categories are there with respect to the category and year. It display the value over here. So we we may be able to perform the analysis with respect to the different dimension, drag and drop. So here. To perform these all of these analysis, we are having the concept of the multi-dimension expression. Multi-dimension expression, it will automatically write the query over here, right? It will perform the different type of executions, right? And those execution will be perform the different type of analysis. So here, if we want to check design model of the multi-dimension expression, this one query is related to the multi-dimensional expression that is automatically. Written over here as we are dragging and dropping it over here, it performs those operation and write the query over here. This query is known as MDX, multi-dimensional expression. And multi-dimensional expression is used to perform the different type of analysis in OLAP or simply we say that in cube, SFAS cube. We are having the different other options are there like dimensions are there, usage dimension. So here, with the date, we are having the date key customer, customer DW key product, product key are available, and the major group is available over here. If we are having any other, if anything is not available over here, we can just add all of those options over here. Right. Similarly, we are having the calculation. For the calculation, we here we have the option of the calculate. We can perform the different type of the calculations. We can perform the different type type of we are we can write the different type of the queries over here. Or we can perform any type of the calculation at this stage. We can add the new calculation. We can perform those calculation over here. So that's all about the cube. That what is the cube? How we can perform the cube? And what are the different operation can be performed? And what we have in the browse structure. Right in browse, we see that whenever we are having the browse option is available, we are having the grid. If we want to clear it, right click, 
now queries are already there so we have uh, this one one remember one thing if we left it for a short time and then we after that one we have to reconnect it it dis will display the error message to avoid that error we must have to reconnect it click the where reconnect it and then it will reconnect with the database and user may be able to perform those operation now i have to re execute the query it will display the records over here now same we can check it over here our database or our cube structure name was here sales cube db we can check that one in the ssas project as we are already connected with the ssas so just database right click and refresh and ssas this one is sql server analysis services so we have a sales cube db just click it over here we can find it over here cube this land cube is available over here different major groups are available details of major group are available over here then we have dimensions are available dimension details is given over here and ss ms sql server management studio that is available similarly we didn't add anything related to the rows and mining uh, one more thing that whenever we are having this one cube here we can provide perform the different type of analysis but remember that one we may not be able to provide this structure to the end user to provide the end user like end user don't know how to open it how to start it how to install it how to deal this structure so for that one we can provide the different tools like one simple tool that is a microsoft excel so open the excel how we can connect it with the excel we can provide to the end user like uh, microsoft excel connected with this one tool and user may be able to perform the analysis we have a sales cube db remember this one names connect now we have the option of the data in the data we have to connect the get data and we have option of from the database we have option of the analysis services from analysis services so it will we have to connect with the analysis services server names what we have the server names just check it out connect analysis server and server names copy mention the server names over here paste click next now we have to select the cube which one cube that we have sales cube db is that is we have a sales cube db yes click next and we don't have any other option click finish now it will offer the different options we have the table pivot chart create so to for the users we will say that uh, for the user we are providing the option of uh, pivot table so that is a good option click it over here on the okay button it will provide user to perform the different type of analysis like user have to perform the analysis we are having the fact internet sale like order quantity sale amount it display it over here values internet sales so it perform the calculation over here with respect to the city we want to perform it over here click it over here on the city it display it over here on the row or if we want to remove the city for with respect to the age group the user want to perform the analysis yes that is there if we want to remove it with respect to age group okay and then we want to with respect to the years and the date so we have uh, year option is also available we are having the calendar year but we want to use it over here in the columns so calendar year with respect to the different age group sale amount is displayed over here or if we want to use it over as year also with the age so we can use this one over here so middle age we are having the four different years of four or five years are there detail is given as over here and this way user may be able to perform the analysis and that is for the end user end user can use excel easily and he can perform drag and drop that is about the ssas how we may be able to create the cube if you people have any questions then please ask the questions thanks for watching the video